Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. Automobiles. On this episode, we will be looking at the Pronto Prime and the Larktail Sprout. The Pronto Prime style has been out for a while now, but has not been available in the US yet, only other countries internationally. The Larktail Sprout came out in the 2023 Larktail Wagons lineup and has the same unique single to double stroller wagon feature. The Larktail Sprout retails for $699.99, but you can get it 20% off with a BA code, which I have listed in the description box below. I don't have a retail price for the Pronto Prime as it is not yet available in the United States. Let's start off with the Pronto Prime. Here are some measurements in both single and double mode. So you can see the difference in size between the two. The handlebar is adjustable and can be adjusted for the shortest and tallest of parents. Here are the inside measurements as well as the wheels. The brake pedal is not flip-flop friendly, but it is off to the side so the basket doesn't cover it and you can find it easily. The basket can fold inward when not in use and can open up when you want to use it for storage. It comes with a security strap on the handlebar as well as a mesh peekaboo window on the canopy. The mechanism to convert it from single to double and back is located on each side of the frame. There are two buttons that you press to engage and disengage the extension of the frame. It also folds up easily and compactly and can stand on its own when folded. As you can see, there's a stand that comes out for it to stand on its own. Now for the Larktail Sprout. Here are some measurements in both single and double mode. The handlebar is also adjustable and can be adjusted for the shortest and tallest of parents. Inside measurements and wheels are as follows. The Larktail Sprout comes with a second seat that you can install for a secondary five-point harness when you want to have two children harnessed in double mode. The Pronto Prime has a five-point harness built into the extension area. Both have a main seat with a five-point harness that is closest to the handlebars. Here are some measurements of the space between the seats on the Larktail as there is no footwell in this model of the wagon for either the Pronto Prime or the Larktail Sprout. More measurements are as follows. The brake pedal is also located in the same place off to the side so the basket does not impede the brake pedal from your vision. It is also not flip flop friendly. The basket of the Sprout also folds away when not in use or can be completely removed. The inside of the Sprout does have a four mesh pockets in the carriage, which the Pronto does not have, but the Pronto Prime comes with an activity tray that has cup holders, which I forgot to include in the video, but we'll insert a picture of it here. Another feature that the Sprout has is a hidden pocket which houses a mesh divider for when you want to use the extended area for shopping while a child rides in the main seat. Here are the measurements of the closed off area the mesh divider provides. Just like the Pronto Prime, there are two buttons on either side of the frame which engages and disengages the extension of the frame. It also folds in a similar manner and has a stand to help it stand on its own when folded. Now. For the weight of each wagon, the Larktail Sprout with the parent console, which is included in purchase, and both seats installed weighs 42 pounds, while the Pronto Prime with just a single seat is 40 pounds. 
But don't let these weights fool you. They don't feel as heavy as stated because the way it folds and the distribution of weight of the wagons make it not feel as heavy when loading and unloading it into the car. I have back issues and I can do it on my own. See some of the short reels that I have created with the Sprout on my IG. A couple of other differences between the two stroller wagon models is that the Pronto Prime has a weight limit of 225 pounds, while the Largetail Sprout has a weight limit of 120 pounds. The Sprout also can accommodate a newborn with a car seat adapter, which is coming soon. It's not currently out. Another difference is that their canopy, when you extend the canopy of the Pronto Prime, it still has mesh on the sides of the canopy for airflow, whereas the Largetail Sprout, when you extend it, the mesh is on the back of the canopy for airflow as well as the peekaboo window on top. So if you have been eyeing the Pronto Prime, the Larktail Sprout is a great wagon that is currently available here in the US. There haven't been any talks of bringing the Pronto Prime to the US, but it could happen. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or message us on Instagram. Until next time.